Well, howdy, everybody. We're deep into week five, and uh, this uh, week's assignment, one of the this week's assignment is inserting images. Um, we're going to show you how to insert an image into a document, make sure everything is formatted properly, and remove the background from the image. Um, so if we take a look at the, the grading criteria here re real quick, we need you to insert the text. Basically, you're going to type the text as shown. We want to use Comic Sans font and make the size as close as you can to the example. And then we want you to insert and format paragraph borders and a page border. Let me show you how to do that. And then we're going to insert this image, remove the background, and then we're going to apply text wrapping. So we're going to get started with this speed round. This one actually goes pretty quick. <clears throat> I'm going to show you what final product looks like. This is what it should look like when you're all done. And I've gone ahead and written out the text. So this is just what I call the baseline text. This is the text that we all start with. If you look, it's just like the text that's in the example, just unformatted. So I recommend just starting here. Just type in the text that's in the flyer. So you can see that it's just the same text, just not formatted yet. So first thing we want to do is I'm going to move this out of my way so I can leave it as a reference. We want to format the text. So it says that we want Comic Sans, so I'm just going to select all text with a Control A. And I'm going to select <clears throat> down here in our list Comic Sans. So now everything is Comic Sans. That's good. And then I know that this one is going to be larger. And I'm going to say this one is going to be 26 point font. I'm going to say this is going to be 18 point font, just kind of based on the look of the, the document. And then this bottom one was in smaller font. I'm just going to leave that one alone. Now well, I can make it maybe, let's make it 12 just for fun. Okay. And I'm just going to start breaking these apart to kind of look like uh, what our example is going to be. Everything is just kind of separated there. Just give me a frame of reference. First thing I'm going to do after formatting the text is I'm going to highlight everything. I'm going to center it. So now we're all centered, just like our example. It's all centered. And then I'm going to create a page border. And the reason why I start with the page border, and you'll see why in just a second, so we'll go to design. I'll go to page borders. I want to choose my color, which is going to be this dark red. And under style, click down until you see one that has the thin upper line and a thicker bottom line. Select that one, and you'll notice that it now creates it around the entire document. <coughs> click OK. And there we go. <coughs> and we'll use that one. Now, if I want to create a border under this text, I just put my cursor here on this first line and go back to home and under page borders I'm just going to do a bottom border. You notice it automatically chooses the red with the same style as our page border. So that goes quick and easy. So I'm going to take that out of there and I'm going to do another one here and I can just select that because it was already ready to go. And I'm almost where I want to be. So if I look at our example, everything's just kind of separated out a little bit. So I'm just going to move that a little bit. <clears throat> I'm going to put my cursor right here because the next step we have after formatting the text and putting in the borders is to insert the image. <clears throat> so I'm going to go up to insert pictures from this device. And here's the image that I want to put in there. It's the one I downloaded. There's, there are different ways of being able to, you can actually copy and paste an image in here if you want, or if you have the image stored on your computer, you can just do it that way. So it's a, it is now pasted in here, but you'll notice that it is much smaller than what the example is. So what I'm going to do is, first thing is change the, tech, the text wrap on this. At the bottom of our assignment guidelines, it says apply text image wrapping. <clears throat> and they are recommending on this one to wrap the text in front of text. Or wrap wrap text in front of text. That's the image is going to be in front of the text basically. So a couple ways of doing this one. You select the image, this little looks like a horseshoe, upside down horseshoe for layout options comes up. You can click on it. You can select the one that says in front of text. You can also right click on the image 
and there's wrap text and you can choose in front of text and then a third way is if you select the image go to picture format and there is wrap text right here and you can do it that way I usually just click on this or I right click on the image and choose in front of text now you notice the text kind of moved up and is now behind the picture that's okay it just means that we can move this picture anywhere it's not going to affect the text so I'm going to go right here and I'm going to press enter a few more times because we're going to make this image larger so select the image and I'm going to use this the letter C and the letter C over here as a guide as to the size of the image I want it to be about that size so you can just put your cursor somewhere and start pressing enter and that'll push the the text down and if you look at our example we're getting pretty darn close here to what we want to be so the big difference is that I have removed the background from this one so you're going to select the image this is our last step and it probably will take about the longest for everybody to do click on the image go to format picture and then you want to click on this little button on the left left hand side called remove background when you click on it word makes a valiant attempt at removing the background but doesn't do a great job so you have two options you can either mark areas to remove so you can literally come in here and click a click that button and draw and then see if word will allow you to remove that area or you can click mark areas to keep so what I'm gonna do is just kinda outline some areas that I want to keep so you can either do it as an outline like this I'm just gonna do it very quickly so it's not gonna look all that great so this is one way of doing it and it may or may not work because I kind of went outside the line so it worked kinda or you can just click and drag a little bit in an area and release the mouse and it starts to uncover certain areas so I've gotten most of the things I want to keep uh, looks like a little bow here we want to keep and now we need to go mark areas to remove because now we can see some of the grass in the background so I'm gonna come over here say I want to remove this I want to remove this get it as close as you can it doesn't have to be perfect I want to remove this like that and for the sake of time I'm gonna say I'm okay click keep changes you notice it's a little ragged if you want you can go back in there and make some tweaks to it but this now looks like our example so feel free to reach out if you have any questions you guys are doing great work we will see you later